My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Another wonderful car, 1957 Pontiac Star Chief. That's a top of the line model. And this one is the 347 Tri-Power motor under the hood. So it's a pretty special one right here. And it was special enough to be in the Art Astor Car Museum in California. He had about 240 cars. Uh, he made his money in media, owned a few radio stations in California. It was part of his personal museum collection. And along with this uh, car comes all this interesting literature about the Tri-Power. The car is featured in Hot Rod Magazine on the cover. Not this one, but the 57 Pontiac was on the cover. Uh, there's articles, pictures. Um, 57 Pontiac won the NASCAR race that year. So it has some pretty neat history. Love the Tri-Power emblem right there, too. Go to volocars.com. You can take your time and read all the information, study the pictures. And that is where you'll find price tags on all of the collector cars we offer for sale, along with a monthly finance payment as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah. 57 Pontiac, 57 Chevy, you see those on a fairly regular basis. This car has so much more to offer. It's uh, upper scale compared to the Chevy. What one would you rather have? I'm interested to see what comments uh, say. But this car is actually less money than a comparable 57 Chevy Bel Air would be. And in my opinion, it has so much more to offer. That tri-power motor even makes it's like eight or nine horsepower more than the fuel injected motor in the Chevy. So uh, a 57 fuel Chevy is gonna be a lot more money than this car. So it's a great value. And the restoration uh, that's been done to it just makes this car an incredible value. Underneath is spotless, it's clean. Um, I believe it was body off frame restored. That's what I was told. It certainly looks that way. But all the frame, the chassis components, all smooth metal. They're not pitted. It wasn't a Midwestern car. It was rusted. The floors are all solid. Everything's a nice, clean, satin black. Front end components are all clean. I'm sure the motor, or front end's been all rebuilt. Uh, this is one of those cars, it looks like you can take anything apart with a wrench. You're not going to get an impact in the torch to have to take things apart. So front end looks really good. Uh, the gas tank looks real clean. It has stainless steel uh, dual exhaust going all the way back. It has a crossover pipe. All the joints are welded. It has MagnaFlow mufflers. Uh, and instead of coming out through the bumper like they used to do, it turns down right before the bumper so you don't get all that exhaust spitting out all over the chrome. Uh, you look up at the motor, it looks brand new. The, the bottom of the motor, the oil pan is spotless has the hydromatic transmission. That's a four-speed automatic. A Bel Air was two-speed. Uh, and it is dated for this car. The rear end is dated for this car. It has the under seat heater. And it looks like it's hooked up. There's hoses going to it. That was an option. I don't think you can get that in a Bel Air. <laughs> it's going to sound like I'm picking on the Bel Air, which I'm not. I'm just saying what a great car this is. Uh, the brakes uh, were redone, the brake hoses look new, the e-brake cables are hooked up. So everything under the car is really clean and proper. So now let's check out the body. The body is all straight, smooth, I don't see any issues or damage. Look at all this chrome, big massive amounts of chrome, big Pontiac letters and trim and tail lights. I mean, that's just awesome right there. With the body itself, corner of the trunk, no bubbles. Here's your gas, <clears throat> it's part of the trim here. All smooth, clean metal, no bubbles down here on the rockers, I don't see any damage, the roof is straight, the gaps are right, I mean, this car is very straight and the gaps are right on the money, no bubbles, no damage. This is all really nice, nice body. And no shortage of chrome in the front of the car either. Look at this big giant grill. Aside from some fingerprints, the chrome is sparkling. 
nice big emblem here. Look at that big, big grill. Just awesome. It has T3 correct headlights, chrome rings, and yes, these do light up. I'll demonstrate that in just a minute. How cool is that? It's got the dual mirrors, star cheap, stainless trim going all the way down the side. This original colors. It's on our website. I don't remember the names, but this is the original color combination, uh, like an ivory with a real dark red. It has the fingernail guards. You know the Star Chief because they all had stars on, on the side of the car somewhere. Now the rim is painted to match. It has the optional spinner hubcaps with reproduction BF Goodrich Silvertown white walls. Uh, that is a power antenna. This glass is nice and clear. There's a few light scratches in it, but overall very nice glass. So there, there's the uh, impressive outside. How about I open it up and show you the impressive inside? You know, I talked about the body. I didn't really talk about the paint, but the finish is just smooth and glossy. I mean, they went the extra, especially for a light color, uh, but the paint is fantastic on the car. Look how nice and tidy the trunk is under the trunk lid, the sticker. Oh, cool. It's got the light. This light actually comes out. It's kind of stuck in there now and it's on a cord. It can go all the way up to the front of the car and then you wind it back up again. Uh, but anyway, the rubber, everything's real nice. Nice, nice liner on the bottom. Nice insulated liner. It's got the jack assembly all properly mounted, a reproduction white wall tire that matches the others. It's never been used, a painted rim, and obviously the sign with the stand uh, comes with it. Seat divider. So very nice, clean trunk compartment. I'm glad I noticed that light. I think that should be on all cars even today. <laughs> The door jam's clean, the metal's dry, painted nice, weather strips are replaced. You can see the hardware's not painted over. Door panel's redone, matches the upholstery. It's got some nice chrome trim and a little stainless on the bottom. Before we get inside, I, I don't want to forget about this. I've never seen this before. It's a six-way adjustable uh, manual seat, uh, and it works. I was playing around with it yesterday. So the dash area is beautiful. All the metal was repainted. It's that dark red color. The trim is all really nice original. Uh, the gauges, instruments, knobs, uh, all that's beautiful. This is a Wonder Bar radio, but it's been rebuilt with modern guts. It's an AM FM stereo now, and it also has an XM uh, satellite hook up the device is in here you'd have to purchase that but this is all set up for xm i've never seen this before either i read that it's a speaker control um, i don't know if that's still hooked up because the motor or the radio's changed now but very cool uh, it has the light it has the owner's manual this is all polished all along here look at the knobs look at this big speaker down here look at the pedals power you know, power in the gas pedal, brake on the brake. It's just cool stuff. Beautiful steering wheel. It's so many neat features. The seats are nice and plump. They've been rebuilt, recushioned, reupholstered. Uh, the back seat's all redone real nice. It has the star. In back, it has dual speakers. I don't know if that's a defroster in the middle or not, but... And then the headliner is in excellent shape, and it has the chrome ribs, nice visors. It has the day and night mirror. Clock is optional. Doesn't seem to be working, though. Uh, Pontiac floor mats, real nice carpet. I'm going to turn on those headlights real quick. You can show the fender. See how the... Spears up on top, the fenders light up. That's cool stuff. Just little things like that are what make people buy a car. The gimmicks work. A 
completely taken apart and restored. You can tell this was not a spray can special. Uh, and we do have the big correct air cleaner over the top of the three tri-power carburetors. It's a 347 making 290 horsepower. We've got power steering. It has power brakes. Those are both optional. The spark plug wires are reproduction. Look at down there, the steering column and all the mechanism. It looks like it's all apart and restored. The right battery cable, the hood insulation. Uh, it does have the uh, under hood lamp. That was an option. It has electric wipers. That was an option. Uh, the washer fluid system, again, optional. It says Pontiac on the valve covers. Got both horns, all the metal is smooth. Just a really nice motor compartment. Okay, here's that light I was talking about that's in the trunk. It just unspools, you can take the light all the way up front, then you roll it back up and put it back in its place and that's your trunk light. So it's a cool feature. Everything fits nice, shuts nice. You got the little flippers on top of the door here. They work nicely. Just a very tidy car. I won't use the word perfect, but it's a really nice quality, clean, straight car. This is a keeper. Under here is fantastic. I even like the squeaky springs. I don't know why that brought back some sort of memory or something when I heard that. Windshield's nice and clear. Go to volocars.com, talk to the salesman. I just gave you my impression. If you have questions or concerns, they'll help you the best they can. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. And I'm very curious as to what people have to say. Would you rather have this or a 57 Bel Air? Thanks for watching.